Okay, everyone, this is Ralph from Ralph's Trucking. You probably clicked on this video because the title, The Walmart Pre-Trip. You're about ready to get an onboarding at Walmart, yeah, for Walmart distribution. My last video, I'll tell you about what happened my every day when I went to onboarding at Lawrence, South Carolina, February 14th, 2022. What she did Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, testing Thursday, and if you fail anything, Friday. But you're worried about the, you clicked on this video because the Walmart pre-trip. Well, right here is the Walmart handbook for the pre-trip. I'm going to show you every page. I'm going to walk you through how to do the pre-trip. Now, remember on my last video, there are some mandatory fails if you forget to do anything. First, if you forget to try to turn the lug nuts, 10 lug nuts per wheel. So that's 100 lug nuts. You got to physically try to turn. That's one, it's a mandatory fail. Two is a mandatory fail is three points of contact when you're climbing in and out of the truck. Now, when you do the pre trip as a bobtail truck, then you got to hook up to the trailer and then do the inspection there too. Before you back under the trailer, you get close, you got to stop, set the brakes. Three points of contact out. You got to visually inspect the kingpin and make sure the height is right before you back under the trailer. Then you go back in the truck. You hook up to the trailer. You Next, for the uh, fifth wheel, you got to do a tug test. Put in first. Try to pull it. See if, make sure it's locked. Mm -hmm. Then after you set the brakes, turn the engine off, you got to go out. You got to visually inspect the front bolt of the fifth wheel because they have air release. Make sure it's in. You got to visually inspect and tell the inspector that you're checking that bolt, the fifth wheel arm, make sure it's in. Make sure there's no gap between the fifth wheel and the trailer. And then you got to climb under the trailer and visually inspect the locking jaws. That's a mandatory or you fail. One of the other last mandatory fails, you have to check both sides of the trailer trailer tandem pins, make sure they're locked. So that's mandatory. If you uh, miss any of them, you fail. But here is the Walmart private fleet pre-trip at study guide. Let me show you what it is. Cue the intro. <laughs> Okay, here's the handbook they give you. It's several pages. Walmart private fleet, pre-trip inspection guide. And there you can read everything. As of August, 2021. This is their, the one handout they gave me. February 14th. There's the tractor. I'll go slow so you can read everything. As when you lift the hood, you can pause and read if anything you want to. Here's more under the hood. There's the rims, the hub seals. You have to hit the tires with air gate uh, with a th hammer. There's the driver's side of the truck, and it tells you what you have to do. Um, here's the house, here's the dining room table. It is an easy inspection. I very seldom, I looked at this five minutes. There's people that look through every chance. If you know how to do a proper pre-trip, it is not that hard. Like I said, if I'm going fast of anything, you have to also uh, make sh inspect, you know, make sure the inspection, you have to open up everything. Uh, 
I'm just going through, let you see page by page. Here's the fifth wheel, securely mounted to the frame. See if they're talking about the bolt out right there. This is the bobtail section of the pre-trip. Like I said, you could pause and read if you need to. They want you to hit each tire with a tire bumper. And at the end of it, I'll take still photos of each section so you can look at it. It's a simple pre-trip. So here's when you're hooking up to the trailer, you got visually, it's, you got to get close to it, visually in check. Verify the kingpin has no lock and is in good shape. Verify there's no space between the fifth wheel and the apron or the deck plate of the king next to the kingpin. Verify the bolt and handle is rejected and verify the locking jaw pins. And there they show photos of that. They want you to brace yourself with one hand and crank with the other. They don't want you to use the finger speed method to change the lower and raise the mud flap, I mean, uh, the trailer. So here they're still talking about the bobtail. The last page was talking about already hooked up to the trailer. So they got some pages messed up or something. This is how I got this manual, February 14th. They're showing the same pages. I didn't even notice that until just now. Like I said, I, very, so I looked at this maybe five minutes. It's an easy pre-trip. Don't worry about it. Just do like you should when you got your CDL. The trailers they use at Lawrence, South Carolina are dead trailers. They're out of date. They're yard trailers only. So, they, you know, they won't have the skirts and all that. And here they're talking about the driver pins are out. Make sure you, you have to say that on both sides of the trailer or it's an automatic fail. They want you to climb under the trailer and check everything. And here's talking about that. Use the tire thumper. Like I said, you could pause and read any of this. See, passenger side pins are out. You have to tell them that or you fail. And I'll take photos and put this at the end of the video. But this is the handbook they gave everyone for. And here's the ink cab inspection. You gotta make sure it's got a registration insurance card if the hazman and annual inspection. Seat belts are not frayed and latches tightly. They want you to do a tug test on the seat belt. When you turn the key, they want to make sure the gauge is swipe. They want you to turn on the AC heater and defroster. They want you to blow the city horn and all that. Air system check. And that is one thing they go over each time. See, now they're showing the same page. Whoever put this together are re-showing the same thing. I didn't even notice that. I will not show the same ones at the end. Here's talking about the how to do the air brake check. Then you got to uncouple. Thursday, I, I got ding the point because I looked at the landing gear, but I didn't ask. I didn't say that. Then you got to drop the trailer. 
It's funny, I didn't even notice they kept on sharing the same pages over and over. That's a little bit I looked at this pre-trip for Walmart. Pre-trip Walmart. And every time I took the, uh, I did this because you have to do it. You have to watch them do it to uh, Monday. You do it Tuesday. Everyone does it Tuesday pre-trip, backing and driving every day. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday if you fail Thursday. But every day you get to do a pre-trip with them. I looked at this flip-flop. I didn't even notice until just now. They showed the same pages. I'm going to take screenshots of every page and put it after this. But... I told you that the must-haves. You must have to seatbelt, three points of contact, all to deal with the fifth wheel, the tandem pins, and touching and trying to turn every lug nut. I'm sorry. If you can turn a lug nut, you got some serious issues by hand. Wow, I know you got loose lug nuts, even just a little bit. You see a rush, uh, rush trail coming down the wheel. That's how I was always taught, but they want you to try to turn a lug nut. Yeah, it ain't going to happen. But that is the Walmart pre-trip. Like I said, I didn't even notice. They kept on sharing the same page over and over again. So whoever put this together, messed up. Don't be worried about the pre-trip. My next video, I'm going to talk about some things I didn't mention on that first video. Go back and read it. If you're thinking about going to Walmart for a private fleet, go back and watch my issues from Lawrence, South Carolina. It's in the last, It it's titled Walmart Onboarding Lawrence, South Carolina. Watch that. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave me comments below. Have a great day. And look at the... Uh, Still photos is coming next. Thank you for watching. this calms you down on some of your worry about the Walmart pre-trip. I flipped through the, that brochure. It's all up in my head. I know how to do a pre-trip. It's nothing hard. Don't worry about it. Monday, like I said, they will go through the pre-trip with you and show you what step by step. But there's a lot of people broken into your groups. They're only doing, I think, three and ours. There's 50 people divided by three instructors that went to the pre-trip and the backing. After Tuesday, everyone does an inspection, a pre, you know, the pre-trip inspection. Everyone does the backing. Everyone does the drive. And it takes well after lunch for everyone to do that. You go inside, you watch a video from Safety Man. Then you got to go back out and watch him you have to learn again how to do the backing, and they go over a full bludge pre-trip again. So they show you two different times how to do the pre-trip. 
Every day they want to they want to see you improve. If you nail it out on the first day, you got to do it again. Went uh, Wednesday, you got to do it again. Test day Thursday, and if you mess anything up, you speed or get close to a curb, you do it Friday. So, don't fret. If you would, please thumb up the video. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about Walmart, private fleet, onboarding, let me know. And I'll do another video about some of the things you may not know about some of the Walmart policies I did not like. That will be the next video. Catch you next time. Subscribe if you're new. Thumb it up. Have a great night.